This video is an optional extra to our games, and this is double jumping. Now you might want to add double jumping. Double jumping makes games much easier and adds that extra dynamic for the player to worry about. So how do we set this up? So first thing we need to do is underneath our jump strength variable, we're going to create a brand new one called times jumped. So it's going to keep track of how many times we've jumped. I'm going to set it to start at zero because we haven't jumped yet. Next, in our physics process, I'm going to give myself a couple of lines and I'm going to say if is on floor. So if the player is on the floor, we're going to say time is jumped equals zero. So as soon as they hit the floor again, it's going to reset all their jumps. Then we can come down to our jump function and we need to make some changes to this because currently this says if they're on the floor and they jump, let them jump and this is only going to let them jump once so we're going to add a nested if statement that says if times jumped equals zero or equals equals zero when we're dealing with if statements then we can jump we just need to indent this line here then at the same time we're also going to say that times jumped equals one now because of this this function can only work once and then once the player lands it will reset our times jump to zero and then you can jump again now we can add in the double jump now this is set up so we can copy all of this code and go down to a new line make sure we're indenting at the same level that we are for our first if statements those two if statements should line up and then we're just going to make some changes. So first of all, we're going to check if they're not on the floor this time. That's the big difference with double jumping. It happens in the air. It's an air jump. So if they're not on the floor and they've pressed the jump button, we're going to check if the number of jumps they've got is one, first of all. And then if that is the case, then we can set their velocity y by their jump strength and the number of jumps is set to two. Now, because the number of jumps is set to two, there's no way that they're able to work any of these functions again, which means the only option they've got to jump again is to land. So they need to land on the ground and they can jump again. Now, you could keep setting this up to add multiple jumps and you could write this a lot more efficiently if you've got more than two jumps. But for double jump, it's a really quick and easy way to do that. So let's test it. Just a quick edit before we test. You'll notice that our original code said is action pressed. This needs to be changed to is action just pressed. If not, the inputs are happening so fast that we'll double jump automatically and the player doesn't get to choose when they do it. So the just press will just work just once until we let go of the space bar and we hit it again. So if we test it now, we're able to get that double jump you might need to change your gravity for this if it's a little bit too high so i put my gravity down to 20 instead of 70 so you should have a double jump for your game now